Hey, this is Ben and I teach you how to write Unity shaders from scratch. In today's video, uh, I'm going to actually go over the plasma shader that I did last time and kind of show you some of the things that you can, tips and tricks of what you can use it for. I think uh, it created an interesting effect, but I didn't really cover uh, what's possible with it. Uh, so this is going to be one piece of what is possible and there are a couple other ideas I have, but I hope this helps you kind of get started uh, on understanding this effect and see the possibilities of it. Cool, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so the setup for this shader is actually quite simple. It's called Plasma Uses, uh, and it's an exact copy of the Plasma shader that we did last time. So I wanted to share a couple things that we can do. Uh, we can distort the wave, let's just say uh, we wanted more lines horizontally, or vertically in this case, uh, or we can also increase it uh, horizontally by changing the horizontal one, which is this one right here. So say multiply this by 10. Uh, you can have it in the diagonal, right? I'm gonna change this back to, in fact, I'm gonna get rid of the multiply there. Uh, you can even have it uh, in more in rings. Let's see, if we wanted rings, we multiply the this one by 10. We can have more rings, right? So we can adjust the distortion uh, or, or the plasma effect how we want. Of course, we can also scale, oops, we can scale everything up at once by maybe doing this to like 100, right? So it does have a little bit of a repeating pattern. So one of the first things we can do is actually control this by color. Right now, each channel is tied to a specific value and then it's just kind of thrown in there uh, and it's kind of creating this final wave color. But what if instead we decided to have three different colors and have them controlled by these uh, sine coasts or uh, and this sine wave here. So let's go ahead and create three colors. We'll just call it color one, two, and three. And I'll start them off as white. Over here, we'll also create color one, two, and three. Kind of save that off, make sure there's no errors, and we see our three colors here. What we can do here now is uh, for each of these, let's have a color multiplier. So, what we can do is uh, I'll do flo float three C1 as our first color is equal to color one times this sine wave. And we'll do that for C2 and C3. Instead of a sine wave, we're gonna do cos here. And this last one is a sine wave without the offset. And what we can do is instead of this being our final wave, I'll in fact comment this out for now. Let's create a new final wave. And we'll make it equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Now it'll force everything to white, uh, but what we can now do is now have some control over what type of colors we want in our effect. Cool, so th that is something that can help us blend different colors and we can play with this to create different types of effects here. All right, so I'm gonna set this back to red, green, blue. It's similar to what we had uh, before we made this change. Uh, so let's go ahead, oh, this is C1 plus C2 plus C3. Save that off, make sure it looks the same. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so this kind of goes back to what we had before, but now we can change the red to whichever color we want. So, you know, of course we can take color here, dot RGB, we can tint it, right? We can tint the final value. Uh, this one, as I mentioned before, is also affecting UVs. Now we can change the color and to how we like. Uh, other things that I've seen people do with this effect is called hue shifting. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hue shift code that I did in the past, in a past video, and copy it here. So I've copied hue shift here. And in this past hue shift code, I also had implemented saturation and brightness. So I'm going to add those. Uh, I'm going to add those at the very end here. So saturation and brightness, those are float ones, so I'm going to add them here. 
All right, so I added saturation and brightness. Let's save this off. Hopefully there's no errors. Great. So let's go ahead and shift the hue using the channel in Plasma. So uh, what we can do is instead of having it multiplied by plasma.rgb, what we can do is uh, color.rgb is equal to color.rgb, our hue shift, color.rgb, and we can shift it by this plasma. This kind of creates an interesting effect as well. Uh, it kind of, net right now, it's distorting and shifting the color at the same time. It's a little bit hard to see, uh, but I can get rid of the distortion by removing this. And then you can kind of see how the hue shift is changing, and it's only using the red channel. So if we got rid of it, there's no shift at all. Here you can see a little bit of shifting, uh, adjusting the brightness and the uh, saturation can change the effect to how we like. Another thing we can do is we can actually shift the plasma instead. Uh, we can shift it by a set value or we can do kind of a reverse. We can shift it by the color of this, right? So that'd be kind of interesting. Another thing you can do is um, a distortion and erosion. Right now it's distorting, but uh, sometimes people take the blue channel to create uh, an erosion. So uh, yeah, an erosion. In order to do that, we just put the plasma B in the alpha channel. Then we go ahead and do the blend effect we want. Let's go with, uh, let's just do a simple alpha blend first. So alpha blend is blend source alpha, one minus source alpha. Oops. And it blends through and you can see through the black back. You can make it additive. Making them both, oh no, not add, uh, one, by putting this to one. Yeah, you can make it additive. Um, yeah, and then with that, you can control this distortion how you like. You can you know, increase the amount of distortion. And all of this is really happening through a mathematical formula where all it does is it affects this particular map. And what you're really looking for is to create the type of effect you want, right? You can use it to tint, uh, you can use it to road, you can use it to shift the UVs. Uh, so there are many, very many variations and many uses for such uh, such an effect. So I hope this video kind of helps you uh, come up with creative ideas on what you can do with plasma. So yeah, that is all for me. Um, so if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and support my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.